girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in Life. nice getting out of the house for a change. Yeah. Pretty exciting movie, too. Yeah. Good seats, right in the middle. Yeah. And that cartoon was a lot of laughs. How about that nearsighted Mr. Magoo? The little fellow so nearsighted that he, he thought a, a fishbowl was a television set, and he said, oh, 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 that Esther Williams swims like a fish. Hey, shapely barracuda. I like them borrow a friend from her. <laughs> Wasn't he a riot? Joni, is, is something wrong? Oh, no, dear. Everything's just fine. But there's one thing I wish. What's that? I wish we had stayed home and watched television. Huh? I'm sorry, Brad, but that story got me all upset. You mean the movie? Yeah. The criminal swore he'd get even with that judge. And, and when he got out of prison, he tracked the judge down and he killed him. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Yes, Brad, but you're a judge, and you've sentenced lots of criminals, and... and... Oh, Joni, honey, that was just a movie. I know, dear, but it was so real, and, and I kept thinking it was happening to you, Brad. And in third dimension, too. And, and when that gangster cornered the judge and, and let him have it, I, I just couldn't stand it. I, I got so nervous that I, I reached over and pinched your arm. Remember? Pinch me? Yes. Anyway, you remember I reached over and, and pinched you so hard because I... Brad, weren't you sitting on my right? No, I was on the left. Oh, that poor man. And I ate all his popcorn, too. <laughs> Come on, dear, let's get some sleep. Sleep? But how can I sleep, Brad? I keep thinking about what happened to that poor judge. All right, dear. Here's the evening paper. Read it for a while. It'll relax you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Brad! <laughs> What's the matter? Rocky Collins. He was just released from prison. Uh, there's a whole story about it. Joni, for heaven's sakes, I know all about it. Yes, but Rocky Collins, he's one of the first men that you ever sentenced to jail. And he swore that he'd get even with you when he got out. I remember. Now, Joni, you forget about that movie and let's get some sleep. Huh, honey? There we are, dear. Cover up. Good night, dear. Good night, Brad. That prison is about 400 miles from here. If Rocky Collins caught the morning train, he could get to town by about 11 o'clock tonight. And if he took the bus, he could get to our house about a quarter to 12. Brad. Hmm? What time is it? It's quarter, quarter to 12. <clears throat> We're in trouble, Brad. Rocky's right here in the room. In the room? I see his evil bloodshot eyes staring at me. Joan, uh, are you sure? I'm positive. I see his evil bloodshot eyes staring at me. It's there. Joan. Bloodshot eyes, huh? That's the nail polish on your big toes. <laughs> now, you're sure you feel better about the whole thing this morning? Uh-huh. And you're going to stop thinking about that silly movie? Yes, I will. And you're going to stop worrying about Rocky trying to kill me? Mm-hmm. And you're going to be calm, cool, and relax. Yes, dear. I'll be calm, cool, and... Help it! <laughs> Joan, that's only the milkman! Oh, I forgot to tell you, Joan, I uh, won't be home for dinner tonight. 
You won't. No, I'm uh, working late at court. I'll probably have dinner downtown. But, honey, that's exactly what happened in the picture. The judge was working late in the courthouse, and that's exactly where the gangster shot him. Oh, Joni, stop. Honey, why can't I meet you for dinner tonight, and then I can wait in the office with you? Absolutely not. Why don't you invite Mabel and Jack over for dinner? You've got to get over this silly idea. I know, darling, but if I'm there with you, and Rocky does try to get you, I can call the police or something. <laughs> Joan, I work in a courthouse, remember? I'm practically surrounded by police. So was the judge in the movie. And the gangster walked right in. The police didn't even notice him. They were too busy questioning the chorus girls from a burlesque raid. <laughs> Joanie! Well, Brad, if you'd only listen to me, dear, I think that I should... be there with you. And then if anything should... Happen, you see, I'd be there to protect you because, after all, Rocky is a. <laughs> Dangerous criminal. Oh, I mean that you are goodbye, to... Joe. <laughs> Didn't even kiss me goodbye. <laughs> There are still certain aspects of this case that uh, I still don't quite understand. Maybe you'd like to take another look at that gun in the lab reports. Think that might help? Yes, it might at that. Well, I'll pick him up and drop by here later. <laughs> I don't want to make our chief of police an errand boy. Oh, that's all right, Brad. I want you to be sure of every aspect of this case. Thanks, Chief. <clears throat> I'll be back in a little while. Yeah. Oh, hello. I'll uh, be working a little late this evening. Yeah, I judge you good right to hit you. Won't bother me. I deuce them up and screw them up good. Hello? Oh, hello, George. Yes, I am working a little late. Yeah, I made that date with the surrogate tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock. Joan? Oh, she's fine. Oh, she's a little worried about me. As a matter of fact, she wanted to come down here with me tonight, but I, I convinced her to stay at home. Yes, yes, George, I, I guess you're right. I better call her right away and tell her that I'm all right. So long, George. Joan? That's funny. I didn't even hear the phone ring. As a matter of fact, I don't think I dialed the last number. Well, I was so anxious to hear from you, dear. I just couldn't wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, Joan, I, I uh, called you up to tell you uh, not to worry. As a matter of fact, Rocky hasn't even showed up. And I'm pretty well protected by a large, muscular cleaning woman. A cleaning woman, huh? Yes, and she doesn't seem to be doing much work. Doesn't? Uh, excuse me, just a minute. Miss? Uh, yeah, Judge? Uh, how about the, uh, the cleaning? Yeah, yeah, Judge, I screwed them up. Uh, she, uh, it's, uh... Hey, Judge, I screwed I'm, uh, I'm sorry, dear. I'm, uh, having a little, uh, problem with the cleaning woman. Honey, you seem to be paying much more attention to the cleaning woman than you are with me. Uh, excuse me, dear. Uh... Say, miss, miss. Uh, yeah, Judge? Would you mind uh, closing the window? Uh, yeah, Judge, right away. All right. <laughs> Joan? Joan? H hello, Joan? Joan? Yeah, yes, Fred? <laughs> Joan, Joan, where were you? Oh, well, I, I was in the kitchen, dear. I put an upside-down cake in the oven, upside-down. It was coming out right-side-up. Will you excuse me just a minute, please? 
Uh, oh, miss, uh, miss, would you uh, mind taking the wastebasket out and emptying it, uh, please? Yeah, uh, you just screw them up. Yeah. All right, right away. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Joan! 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 Uh, Brad, don't you think you're overworking that poor old lady a little? Oh, oh, oh don't be silly, dear. Goodbye. Goodbye, Brad. Um, <laughs> oh, you are chigga. Yeah. You turn slipped a little. Oh. <laughs> Deuce them up and screw them up. Yeah. Lover. You mean lover? <laughs> Brad, you knew all the time? <laughs> well, what do you mean by making me run over there? I'm so hot, Brad. I'm good. Here I am. Uh, it's Rocky, Brad! Oh, oh, God. God. Hey, hey. Chief of Police! No sense in my even trying to work anymore. I'm just... just You've upset. got to calm down, Joan, before you do something really serious. Like that poor man you beat up. You know, you might have hurt him badly. Yeah, it's a lucky thing I didn't connect with that milk bottle. Milk bottle? You mean you tried to hit the Chief of Police with a milk bottle last night? No, the milkman this morning. Well, I hope he doesn't sue. Oh, I don't think the milkman will sue. Not the milkman. Oh, the chief of police. No, the mailman. What? You mean you... <laughs> oh, Tony, honey, you've got to put yourself together. The police refuse to let you have protection, so they certainly don't think there's anything to worry about. Yeah, well, the police felt the same way in the movie. And I just keep thinking that my brat... But, Joni, gonna... these things only happen in movies. In real life, people don't go around shooting judges who send them to prison. Well, I'll try to get a grip on myself, Mabel. I, I realize it's just that whenever I happen to see an unfamiliar face now, I just... No! Joni, now stop it. Stop that. I've got to apologize to him. I'm all Package the... for Judge Stevens. <laughs> Package for Brad. You don't think it's a bomb? It's ticking. I don't hear anything. I hear it. it it's ticking. It's a bomb. <laughs> Oh, Joan, do you really think it's a bomb? I sure do. Better stand back a little bit. You never can tell when it... It's Brad's new hat. He said it was coming today. I could have sworn that... I still hear it ticking. Pulse is a little rapid. Well, why shouldn't it be? I certainly have enough reason to be upset. That's right, Mrs. Stephen. Now, just turn around for just a moment, please. Oh. There we are. After all, is a very dangerous criminal. <laughs> please, doctor. Mrs. Stevens, I can't examine you unless you relax. I know, but nobody seems to care about this except me. And after all, I do love my husband. And if the police and 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 the Cooper, 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 ah, Cooper, Cooper, realize the danger of ah, to realize the danger of this one thing that all the but you've been, I'm... Brad, I don't think there's anything organically wrong here. It's just a question of nerves more than anything. It's not nerves. I, I'm just nervous, Doctor. It, yeah, yes, it's Joan, nerves. Joan, See, Joan. I, I, what? Uh, how's your temperature? You're not the doctor. That's right. I'm the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> not the patient. 
Now, look, Joan, you've got to stop this idiotic behavior. He's the patient. He's the patient? Yeah, he must be sick in the head, walking around, not caring that any moment a murderer may come in here, pull out a gun, and go boom! Oh. He'll be lying there, bleeding, and they'll call the doctor. And it won't be you. You're not getting any more of my business. Joan, please. Don't please me. I don't like you. Here I love you, and you don't care enough to take care of yourself, so I don't like you. Joan! I don't like you. I love you, but I don't like you. Him I don't like either. I don't like him. Mrs. Stevens, I'd like to talk to your husband for a little while. Why don't you just relax and take it easy, huh? I don't like either one of you, but him I love. Brad, I'm afraid she's really got a case of nerves. She honestly believes your life is in danger. But that's ridiculous. She saw a picture where a judge was killed and there... Brad, Brad, look, look, ridiculous or not, she believes it. It's almost a fixation. Sure is. Now, there are several ways we can handle a case of this kind. I guess I am being too nervous and suspicious of everyone. I probably fine. Excuse me, lady, is this where Judge Stevens lives? Well, yes, it is. Who shall I say is calling? Rocky Collins. All right, I'll tell him that you're... <laughs> Did you say Rocky Collins? Yeah. The Rocky Collins? That's right. Well, then I just have one thing to say. What's that? I saw him. I saw him. He's in the bedroom. Well, who's in the bedroom? Uh, Rocky Collins. I got him trapped in the bedroom. Uh, no, 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 look, no, look, no, dear, no, dear. No, the doctor. No, what about Rocky Collins? Take it easy. No, love her. Yeah. Love her. Listen, listen, dear. Please, please. No, no, no. Mrs. Stevens, there is no Rocky Collins here. But. No, no, no. He is in your mind. He is not. He is in the bedroom. Joan, Joan, you don't understand. Your Rocky Collins is an illusion, a figment of your imagination. That's right, Mrs. Stevens. As Brad says, he's just a figment of your imagination. Now, do you understand? <laughs> Brad, it's much worse than I thought. She's actually on the verge of nervous collapse. You see, when the mind reaches a point where it actually materializes a symbol of fear, this is bad. I'm not sure we handled it right. I'm not sure she's in a condition to accept what we told her just now. It might have been better if we'd humored her. Humor? You mean act as though Rocky was really here as she thought? As a matter of fact, if she thinks she sees him again, we'd better do just that. Figment of my imagination, huh? Could be. <laughs> <laughs> looking figment. But let me tell you something, figment. If you lay one finger on my husband, I'll... I'll... 
Now look, lady, I don't know what this is. You don't is. sound like a figment. Don't move! Oh, 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 it can't oh, hurt a figment. I don't think it is a figment. Oh, uh, oh, 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 Doctor, help! Help! The figment's not a figment! Now, uh, figments don't feel solid. Uh, figments don't say ouch or anything, and you know it. It just ain't figmentary. Now, Joan, I am not... Don't... Uh, he's oh, yes, rocking. yes, yes, yes. Take sure, it. sure, it's Rocky Collins. You're telling me it's I not, not a figment, Joan. That's we right. knew it all the time, but we didn't want to frighten you, did we, Doctor? Of course, of course. Well, get him out, Bob. Or, or, or get some... Now, 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 calm down. Now, calm down. Now, calm down. Hmm? This is what we would like to do. What? We would like to bring Rocky Collins in here. I wouldn't do that. No, and, and then, you, then you'll see that there's nothing to be afraid of. He's really a very nice fellow. I don't... Brad, bring Rocky in. All right. Oh, be careful, dear. You never can trust those kind of... <laughs> right this way, Rocky. Oh, how are you? Yeah, come right in. No, no, you, uh, you go first. You uh, gave my wife quite a scare, Rocky. Oh, here, Rocky. Uh, have a chair. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Fine. Oh, oh, by the way, Rocky, uh, you know uh, Dr. Blake? Oh, how do you do, Rocky? I've heard a great deal about you. Very nice to know you. That's Rocky. In the chair. Yes. Who did you think it was? No, uh, well, it looks a little like Frank Sinatra. That's, uh, that's Rocky, huh? Yeah, yeah. In the chair. In the chair. Hi, Rocky. <laughs> My figment in the bedroom had a lot more on the ball than your figment. Joan, we told you before that we were only fooling. This is not a figment. It's Rocky Collins. Oh, you can speak right up, Rocky. <laughs> What's that you say, Rocky? Oh, you, you came here to tell us that you bear me no ill will and my wife should stop worrying. Oh, that's great, Rocky. <laughs> You mind speaking a little louder, Rocky? I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> I said, Rocky, but... Where is Rocky, Brad? Where are you, Rocky? <laughs> Rocky, where are you? Rocky! I'm over here. <laughs> what do you want? There he is. That's my figment. Pretty homely-looking figment, ain't he? Joan. That is Rocky Collins. The real Rocky Collins. That figment. Oh, Brad, the strain has been too much for you, darling. Now he thinks he sees Rocky Collins. Sit down, Angel, and relax. Don't you worry, sweetie. You'll be all right now. You'll be fine. Mr. Stevens, uh, that isn't a figment. I see him, too. You, too, Doctor? Oh, sit down and heal thyself, Doctor. Oh. But, lady, I am Rocky Collins. Gosh, even the figment is cracking up. <laughs> Sit down, figgle boy. <laughs> These boys are not well. More tea, Mr. Collins? Oh, no thanks. I'm driving. <laughs> so when, when I heard through the grapevine that you would ask for police protection because you were scared of me, I, I decided to drop over and calm you down, you know. Then you're not mad at my husband. Mad? What for? I did my job. He did his job. That's right. And his job was sending you up for your job. Certainly. Just like I told you, Joan. Your suspicions were groundless. Sure, the judge sends up a lot of guys. For instance, I heard Whitey Smith just got out this morning. And the judge sent him up, too. Well, I gotta be running along. Uh, right. I'll see you around. All right. Goodbye, and uh, thank you, Rocky, oh, very much. I think nothing of it. Goodbye. 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 Now, you see, lover, there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Are you kidding? Didn't you hear what Rocky said? Whitey Smith is loose, and you sent him up to him. Now, Joan, we're not going to start the whole thing all over again, are we? I know, honey, but Whitey Smith is a very dangerous criminal. Now, look, Joan, you're being just as foolish over Whitey Smith as you were over Rocky Collins. I'm sorry, dear. It won't happen again. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be worried anymore or nervous anymore? 
and you're going to be calm, cool, and relaxed. Yes, dear, I'm going to be calm, cool, and... Johnny, Johnny, it's only the phone. June, June. Hello? Wrong number. Keep my heart laughing, never know where 